prepare for installation by verifying that you have the correct tools and the accessories that come with your T23. Check that your tracking unit is working correctly and that both the GPS and GSM lights are off. T23 is commonly installed behind the glove compartment or under the dashboard. Choose an area with no metal blocking T23s due to the skies. Remove the steering column paneling to gain access to the vehicle power cables or fuse box. Refer to your vehicle user guide to help you locate the power and ignition cabling. You may also install your T23 unit under the paneling if space allows. Locate the vehicle ground and power cabling in the vehicle. Refer to your T23 installation manual to check the correct cable to connect to your vehicle ground. Use the voltage meter to test the cables bundled with your vehicle power cable. The vehicle power cable will show a constant 12 volt current when the ignition is turned off. For 24 volt systems, refer to additional instructions in the installation guide. The ignition cable will show no current when the ignition is off. If the voltage jumps to 12 volts when turning ignition on, you found the correct cable. Use a wire connector to connect the long red cable on your T23 power source to the vehicle power cable. The other end is already connected to the ground. Connect the blue cable from your T23 I.O. to the ignition cable in the same way as you did for the vehicle power cable. Place the external antenna facing upwards and as far away from the unit as possible with no metal blocking its view to the skies. Connect one of the black wires from the T23 SOS button to the red T23 vehicle power cable. Make the connection after the fuse. Connect other wire to the brown cable on the T23 I.O. The SOS button cables have no polarity. You can connect them either way. Wrap all cables neatly with automotive electrical tape and connect the T23 vehicle power cable and external GPS antenna to your Tramigo T23 unit. The unit can be mounted with screws or cable ties. Make sure to secure the unit firmly and place it facing upwards with the indicator lights towards the skies.